do you do this first? And what's happened for one year? So uh, we, we did this event uh, for the first time uh, a year ago. And then it was Trifon's decision to do it every month. At the beginning, we was kind of, uh, we were not kind. We were a bit doubtful that we will be able to find five startups to agree to go on stage every month, every month, like a circle. And then we did our homework, and we found that there are more than 300 startups that are qualified for this competition. So we can have easily five years of operation. In these five years, more startups will pop up. So it's a show, it's a present show that there is startup, there is innovation in Bulgaria. There is uh, uh, entrepreneurship. There is people who are qualified to be good entrepreneurs and maybe do more exits. I will tell you, in Israel, every day in the newspaper, we read about small exit, big exit, medium exit, big investments. All of the kids in Israel want to be startupers. All of the adults, they either have idea for startup, they work in a startup, or they're willing to, to or they have a startup. The rest are having this dream. And this, I believe, should be the dream of our young people here in Bulgaria to, do, to innovate and to work from themselves. I begin it in the future. Each one of the population will have a private company working for himself as an entrepreneur. It's more effective. You, you work harder, but you have more fun doing the work when you work for yourself. So I believe this is the future. And we have the smallest, even the smallest effect on this. I will be more than glad. So that's it. Hi, everyone. Um, I want to tell you a story with my funny English. So don't, don't laugh loud. OK, so uh, me and Timmy, we was in a yacht in uh, Tel Aviv. Really, we was on the yacht with, uh, with a huge invest. Really, you, you remember this? With, uh, with uh, the investors from um, Israel. And they ask us, OK, find, find. 10 startups and we want to invest in them and after the yacht we walk to the beach and think how to find 10 startups in Bulgaria there is a lot of startups but how to find a good one so we decide to create this event this pitch to pitch event for a Bulgarian ecosystem because you know when I speak with the people with the startup with the startups uh, they told me my problem is always money I don't know why, but trust me, when you're in Israel, when you're in Tel Aviv, and you tell someone money is the problem, they will laugh on you, really. Because money, they're never a problem, never, especially in Israel. So that's why we think, okay, let's say, let, let's put money on the side and try to find a good startups here in Bulgaria. And actually we did it. We find more than 55, more than 55 good startups. And I was on this stage, actually downstairs, but on this stage. And uh, most, of, most of them pitch very good. So today is the final of the final of the final. And I hope the best startup will win this uh, competition. Good luck. good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, actually, uh, I want to explain more about pitch to pitch. Yeah, uh, there is a lot of money worldwide, too much money. But uh, it is our um, goal to going and to reach them, to provide a direct path to our startups going there directly. Uh, I'm a chairwoman of a health and life science cluster. I'm a co-founding AI cluster. I'm dealing with the high technology, which costs a lot of money. Uh, but still, in Bulgaria, those uh, high technology can't find the right place and the right investment. Because we're talking about billions sometimes to create the innovation that can save a thousand millions of people. But step by step, we're supposed to start from somewhere. We're supposed to find the, the startups that we can't really support them. And uh, after we support them to show that in Bulgaria we have enough innovation. So much, so great, so technology and innovative that can reach all the money that there is uh, globally. Okay. Uh, I believe that you hear me about me too much, so therefore I will continue to represent uh, one of the most important people here. This is our investors. Please applause them. I believe that next time we're supposed to applause them even louder because they're investors. Come on, the money is here. <laughs> okay. 
I will start the, ah, it's interesting because um, we are quite uh, flexible. Half of the, uh, our jury members, half of the startups, half of the uh, public actually is uh, uh, through Zoom, right? We are hybrid, uh, yeah, event. Okay, so I will start representing with uh, one of the, actually the first of the, our investor that's supporting our event is Victor Manev from Impetus Capital. Big applause. Victor, say hi. <laughs> okay. Continue, of course, with... He's not in Sofia, but he's uh, happy to join. Ah. Yes. Okay, we don't hear you quite well, but uh, thank you being here with us. Uh, we count on your vote, we count on your expertise, and thank you again to being with us all year. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. The next jury member is here, actually. You can congratulate him personally. It's Angel Angel, of course, for uh, Innovation Capital. Big applause. Actually, I'm very happy that he's standing uh, with us because uh, I observed their programs for finding, for headhunting the next startups. And I saw uh, quite quality startups, quite uh, hard work from your side. I know that uh, you're having uh, some kind of a map of a startup uh, across the country. And I hope someday you will share more about uh, the achievement of those startups and, of course, uh, count on you for supporting the next season also. Thank you. Big applause. Okay, the next uh, jury member, he's uh, also a friend of mine. He's a great specialist, one of the brightest investors that's supporting a life science uh, companies and ecosystem in Bulgaria. And this is uh, Dr. Dmitry Georgiev. Please applause. Okay, we will show him a little bit. Ah, hi. Hi, Mitko. Nice to see you. Okay. The <laughs> great, great. So, Dimitri is in Vienna. Say hi from Vienna. And I'm sure that his uh, additional value and expertise will support a lot of the organizers uh, to win the best uh, startup of the year. The next jury member that I want to represent you is Thomas Tsanev, former vice president of Citibank. Big applause. He's uh, almost a fresh. He's taking part in uh, three or four events of ours, but I believe he can share a lot also with us. So. Uh, Thank you a lot that you're supporting our course, and I hope that we will count on you the second season also. Thank you. Okay, the next uh, jury member is uh, one of the person that representing the organization that actually uh, grow the ecosystem, the startup ecosystem. Believe me or not, two years ago, we were, three years ago even, we were far, far away from here. But thanks to BESCO, the Bulgarian Association of Startups, and to NET especially, we see all the changes. Thank you, NET. Thank you. Okay. The next jury member is Georgi Pavlov from AG Capital. He's uh, the person that actually starting uh, the, 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 the topic for the construction tech, uh, for uh, building tech, etc. In Bulgaria, we are quite behind the others, but thanks to people like him, uh, I believe that we will find a lot of interesting companies, and thank you for being here with us today. Thank you. Okay. The next uh, jury member is Vladimir Tomov. He is a chairman of uh, uh, Council of Investment to BCCI. Thank you for joining us. And, of course, we having a, a person that having already had two successful exits. He's from Israel, and his name is Benny Pincus. Big applause. 
when it comes to telecom industry, he's uh, your advisor. He's the voice that actually will support us. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Okay. Now, now, I believe it's time to provide this stage, step off here, because uh, you are eager to see more about the, uh, our startups. We will start with our first finalist. She's a quite interesting woman that combining the most interesting thing, the most useful one, kids, education, career. And she's make it three in one. Please, warm welcome for Elitza. Elisa, you have one minute. I know. So what I do is I help young people never count the hours until the end of the workday with an innovative profile system. This is just part of it. And find the best career. So what I accomplished is that I got my startup taken away from me by a Macedonian team. And I believe this is a great success. If someone wants to take your money and your idea, this means you're making something good. I won the best uh, employability startup of the Social European Innovation Network. I was invited to scale that same startup in a Horizon 2020 project. And I enlarged my team with four people. And I also work with 400 students in Plovdiv having about 100 of them already starting the career they love, which is a great success for all of you who have ever tried to help a young person. And I also got funding in Bitcoin Cash to develop the app and the platform after the funding and the idea was taken away from me. So, but the best thing that actually happened to me was becoming part of the networking uh, family because this was an amazing experience. Thank you. Thank you, Elitza. Okay. Our next uh, startup uh, will show us the future of communication. One of, uh, she is passed through Silicon Valley, through Founder Institute, and our stage to achieve one million milestone by usage of su sufficient chatbot solution. Big applause for Elitza. Hi, everyone. Umni is simplifying and speeding up the creation of AI chatbots by providing businesses with affordable, uh, with affordable chatbot management platform, MyBot, which help businesses cut on expenses and accomplish other business goals. One year ago, actually nine months ago, we had an idea and a dashboard with statistics. Today, MyBot is working solution for all our customers. And what is more important is the uh, specialized centralized AI model we have that help for chatbots from the same industry grow fa become faster, smarter. We already have a pilot project with eight hotels. We are doing it for right now for the hotel industry that are paying customers and use the same AI model with over 400 hotel topics and 4,000 um, customer questions behind. And we're looking to create the same AI model for other businesses and industries. Last year, for our accomplishment, we got the award for the best hotel and restaurant software 2019 by the third smart tourism um, conference in Sofia, Bulgaria. Thank you very much. My bot is the WordPress for chatbots. Thank you, Elitza. Great road. Thank you. Okay, it's time to travel with electric cars around Bulgaria. Please, warm welcome for Denitza from Travel by Electric. Elitza? Uh, Denitza? Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, we are Travel by Electric. We rent electric cars for tourist trips around Bulgaria. We would like the people to travel around Bulgaria with electric cars because this is great. It's traveling around Bulgaria is awesome. And we are developing the electrical mobility by using the most powerful tool in Bulgaria, and this is tourism. So this is what we are. Try us. So that's it. We would like to let you know that we are part of uh, Innovation Starter Accelerator. And we are looking forward for the next thing, which is going to happen soon. Thank you, Denitza. Fantastic. Okay. What about the weather? 
We know that here is hot, but what are the temperature on Antarctica? I'm sure that actually the meteor rocks knows. Please welcome Dimitar on our summer stage. Hello. So, Meteor Rocks is Google for weather data on the Balkans. We are creating a network of in-house developed weather stations. Our company was founded in 2018. We have received two rounds of funding. First, we got a 20,000 level grant, which helped us start our company. Currently, we are enrolled in the EET Climate Kick Accelerator, under which we are getting uh, 16,000 euro. Uh, our station, our network of weather station consists of 20, and we have two on Antarctica. Uh, we have secured five contracts for cooperation with key public institutions, such as the Bulgarian Academy of Science, the Bulgarian Antarctic Institute, the Bulgarian Naval Academy, uh, Tsarevets, and Primorsk municipalities. Considering the increasing effect of climate change on our world, the value of precise weather data will only increase, which lays the foundation of our business model. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we are social responsible to restaurants uh, and tourism also. I want to invite uh, Hype Software and Plaman to share with us how exactly. Good evening, everybody. My name is Plaman Manif, and I am co-founder of Hype Software. We started uh, with this project before three years, and since then our main purpose is to bring some innovation and inspiration to the branch with the restaurants. Uh, we entered the Bulgarian market in January this year, and uh, when I was here in one on the 11th of June, uh, we uh, had 20 clients for the last three months. Uh, we doubled them. We hired five uh, more new people in the team. We started our uh, call center, which is 24-7. Uh, we made uh, two digital campaigns, uh, marketing campaigns, which was uh, a very um, powerful thing for uh, uh, growing the business. Uh, what else? It's a software for restaurants. We sell the software, we develop the software. We, the key about us is that uh, we are in this branch for a lot of years. We have a lot of experience in the branch because we have our own locations, and that's why we started this business. Thank you. Great. Okay. We spoke about the weather. We spoke about the COVID. We spoke about the restaurant and even chatbot. I believe that it's time to talk about insurance also. Please welcome iPort and Nora here on this stage. Ah, it's not Nora, sorry. What's your name? It's Boris. Nice to meet you. Good evening. Um, we're uh, the first of a kind uh, fintech disruptor about credits and insurance online. And what we focus on is two platforms about uh, a fully online insurance called iPort and fully online crediting called uh, Creditport. And we also uh, have a uh, something uh, that online and the offline world called Gishe Life. And more into that uh, after the pitch. Uh, but basically, um, we uh, launched the campaign last week and we saw radical improvements uh, due to the fact that people aren't used to the transition from the offline to the online world. And with that campaign, we made ourselves visible so that uh, people now begin to trust us and uh, start to apply more and more. And uh, we uh, have already got around um, 800 uh, applications for online credits and we're moving towards bigger improvements. Thank you. Thank you, Boris. Okay. Uh, it's time for money, but not uh, money for all. Uh, we want to educate people about the money. We want to educate kids how they can uh, use abilities by uh, dealing with money. So please welcome Monetti and Nikolai. Ah, uh, Ivan, sorry. Where is, ah, here is Nikolai. Hello, my name is Ivan, and I'm very excited to present you Moneti project. At Moneti, we are developing uh, educational tools, both digital and uh, physical. 
to help parents teach their children about money and how to uh, build proper money management skills. We will we'll provide a digital wallet with a bank card, educational videos, and interactive flashcards. Um, six months ago, it was just an idea and only me working on this project, but today we are 16 people involved in this, uh, uh, eight team members and eight uh, advisors and mentors, and uh, we are ready to launch our first product, Interactive Flashcards. Thank you. We also have uh, corporate, client, uh, corporate partners. Um, a remix second hand, we have uh, Softuni and Carol Capital Management. And of course, co working expertise also and place. Thank you. Okay, Our, uh, when I was a kid, I loved origami game. I believe that it is one of the most funniest things that uh, the, from kids to the grown up people can do. What about if we combine our favorite hobby, uh, origami, with a bottle and some ecological uh, project? I believe that Default and Rodina will explain us. Thank you. Hello. Hi, everybody. I'm Rodina, one of the co-founders of Default. At Default, we have developed a collapsible design technology that aims to, to change the culture of disposability. And we are starting first B2C. Uh, by developing a very smart, innovative, uh, reusable lifestyle bottle that we launched this summer on Kickstarter. And uh, so far, uh, we've raised $150,000 in crowdfunding. Uh, for the last month, we've been focused mainly on production. So we've started uh, the, the manufacturing. All of the tooling costs uh, have been covered by the crowdfunding. And also, we've been researching other crowdfunding opportunities in Asia. So we are planning to launch a crowdfunding campaign in Japan by the end of this year. And we are also now developing our go-to-market plan with more actionable, uh, re yeah, uh, how to say, uh, tactics about how to uh, retail and distribute this product. Uh, and here is the bottle folded. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. Okay, we started the topic with the green technology. And uh, the, our next participant is something significant also. They, they are in entire recycling and they're providing a unique product that I believe that everybody will see how it's working. Hello. So um, I'm pleased to be in this stage once more. Six months ago, I had only a paper idea. Uh, it was uh, combining collecting tires, recycling them, and crafting and selling an end product. Now, uh, I'm happy to share that we're already uh, achieving some results in the collecting division. Already have a network in Sofia uh, collecting more than hundreds of workshops only for one month, and also open negotiation with uh, our partners in Austria in order to uh, take their uh, we already have a place out of Sofia where the tires. Uh, currently, we give them to the biggest cement factory in Bulgaria. Later on, all those tires will be redirected to our factory, which will give us a constant income of raw material for our SBR granules. Uh, on the factory itself, uh, we already have uh, spotted three plots of land, rent, potential purchase, financial. Yeah, numbers are already upgraded, looking much better than. Thank you. Okay. I'm a woman. And sometimes it's something fantastic to be a woman, but sometimes it could be quite disturbing. When I'm using a car, often I feel more confused than concentrated. And I believe that our next startup, Emil from Cargenta Brain, will uh, provide me some solution. Please. Thank you. Hello everyone, and thank you for being here tonight. Uh, my name is Emil, and I'm the founder of Cargenta. Um, the company manufactures smart IoT devices like this one. It is intended for car owners who wish to connect their car to their phone. Um, okay. Um, there are some of the 
important features uh, which we believe uh, people would be most interested in is um, location tracking, um, health diagnostics in real time, as well as advanced security and safety features. For example, um, notifications in case of a crash, uh, car failure, uh, theft or towing attempt. Um, the primary target markets are the developed countries, United States, Europe uh, and Australia, um, some parts of Asia as well. The, the, all right, um, we have the hardware, which is market ready. Uh, we have the MVP platform, uh, which needs a little bit more tuning on the usage uh, inter, uh, uh, user based interface. Uh, and uh, we'll be preparing soon a Kickstarter campaign so that we can reach a broad, um, um, the broader public. Hey, thank, you. thank you very much. Okay, unfortunately, one of the finalists is not here. Uh, he, the, the company we called WePorn and actually is a porn tech by usage with the blockchain. He's not here, but always in my heart. Uh, did I miss somebody? Okay, this means that that was our finalist. I want to ask uh, our lovely jury to go and to vote for the three best of them till we are drinking something and having a great time. In a 30 minute, they will come here. Uh, this stage, there will be three chairs for our uh, finalists, and our jury will ask them a question in order to find the best one. Thank you very much. Now, party time. like a diamond shine bright like a diamond shine bright like a diamond shine bright like a diamond find the light in the beautiful sea I choose to be happy you and I you and I we're like diamonds in the sky she's a shooting star I see a vision of ecstasy when she holds me I'm alive like diamonds in the sky
You ready? Play fucking loud. Yeah. Yeah. Blue. Clouds of white, 
the bright blessed days on the dark sacred nights I think to myself what a wonderful them grow and they'll know much more than I'll ever know and I think to myself what a wonderful world yeah I, and I think, think to myself, myself what a wonderful
the minute you walk in the jump, I could see you were a man of distinction, a real big spender. Good looking, so refined. So wouldn't you like to know what's going on in my mind? So let me get right to the point. I don't pop my car for every man I see. Two times, girl. Love me twice today. Love me two times, baby. Love me two times, baby. One for tomorrow. Would you like to have fun? Good fun, good fun. How about a few? Let's, let's, probably, probably. Let me show you where. Good time. The time is come. I understood, uh, understood that our solution for the top three startup. I will, I want to ask the head of the jury, Emil Shikirjiski, here next to me, to represent the three startups that will taking our place here on these fantastic chairs. So, may I have your attention, please? <laughs> okay, Nikolai, Nikolai, I hope you will hear your name, so. Uh, what do you think? You know, we all time would like to go some uh, public, what the public think about the, who should win. So let's go one by one and uh, clap a hand if you think it is. If you think it's not, just be silent. And we'll see what the crowd, if this crowd thinks. I want to add some, something. The winner of the audience will win a free PR, I mean a real article, a real representing into the media and internet space. The public one. Very nice. Who gave it that? Me. Very nice. Also, also, someone else from the co-working wanted to give something, right? Monica? Is he here? Is he here? Yeah. Are you here? Brother Slav? Yeah? Yeah, Giuseppe would like to give... Also, come to stage. What would you like? Present time. Podarazzi. Cestita Koleda. Yeah, uh, we can offer them the, to the winners of the people's vote. Uh, we can give them discounts for the next uh, uh, theater season. 10 discounts, 50% uh, for three theaters. Yeah, so 10, 10 and 10, 30 discounts for, for theater. From Open Sofia. Okay, one more. You want to give to that? Okay, because there will be only one winner tonight here. For the second team, we'll give a chat bot for one year for free. Bravo, bravo, bravo. bravo. I hope, Elitza, you are not the second, and then it's conflict of interest. Then we'll give it to the third. Yeah, uh, you would like to give something as well? Come, guys, come. Hello. Everyone, uh, I'm very happy to say that we recently opened an open a law firm, which is kicking off pretty well, and we would like to also give something back to the community from which we've benefited so much. So we would like to offer the, the winner a voucher for uh, 1,000 euro worth to place to 10 hours of legal services for free. Yeah, very Thanks. I hope I would have win that. Oh, another one. Okay, 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 okay. Since, since it's Christmas, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be giving out some uh, free things. So uh, for, the, uh, for the startup that is not already a BESCO member, and if it's the startup that receives the vote of the public, then it's a free membership for BESCO, which is a community of over 500 startups now. So, you know, we help startups. So that's the thing from us. Bravo, wow, wow, it's a big price, yeah? Not only, this is the ecosystem that we have created last year. Big applause for us. <laughs>
So quickly, what's going to happen after we choose? Now we choose three startups that are going to be here on the stage and are going to... Yeah, 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 after the audience, the one we choose, and they're going to cross-confront our questions. Cross-confront our questions, and then we will pick up only one. So, I'm just taking the stairs, so it will be more safe. Don't doing two things at the same time, but it's safety first, you know. Okay, now we're ready. So, I will go one by one and give you applause if you think he's qualified to be one of the three. Voxes, Elitsa, the kids' orientation. Elitsa, oh, very nice, very nice, very nice, okay. Umniko, the other Elitsa for the chatbots. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Travel by cars. Very nice, very nice, hard to decide. <laughs> Meteor Rocks, the stations. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Okay, okay, it's all the same for me <laughs> for now. <laughs> Okay, I'll go by order. Hype software, software for restaurants. Oh, they have a big lobby here, these guys. <laughs> if you are part of the startups, you are allowed to, <laughs> you are allowed. Uh, iPort, the online insurance company. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you Monetti, kids education. Oh, oh, whistles as well. It's a bonus. Default, the bottle, the plastic bottle that folds. It's not plastic, it's a bio, bio plastic something. Okay, and two more. The, the tire recycling company. The tire recycling. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. You, you, you count who is? Okay, and Cargenta, the IoT cars. Very nice. Okay, you know who is getting the, the public? Uh, wait, wait. Just, just yell, who do you think? <laughs> yell it. <laughs> Yeah, the default, uh, the, the second Elitsa, but she's giving the second prize to herself. <laughs> so. Hype, the insurance, hype and the insurance, and Cargenta. So, Cargenta, IoT cars, online, online, okay, okay, online insurances, online insurances, online insurances, okay, and... Hype software. This is a hype software. Okay, default, the battle, the folding battle. Folding battle. Okay, okay. Okay, so the folding battle. Meteo Rocks. Meteo Rocks, the online station. I think it's the default, the folding battle. Come on. You can get the, the chatbot for your online service. You will, you will have use of it. Where is she? Where is the battle? Ah, here she is. No, the battle. You are the crowd, the crowd winner. Crowd, support the crowd, crowd funded you, crowd funded you and chose you again. Okay, so maybe you, you will be on the stage again, but for now, thank you. Okay, okay, so, so, our winners, our winners, default, come on, you're also our winner, come on, come on. Sit, you have a place here. <laughs> it, was <laughs> it was a stupid trick, but you know. Okay, now, the second, the second, the second. Meteo Rocks, come on stage. Meteo Rocks, come on stage. Okay, this is also what you liked, so we have merged our minds. So, N, 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 N. Last tickets to these cross questions go to Umnico. Come, come, bravo, Umnico. Okay, but, but as you know, we like to do surprises. So, <laughs> Take another chair, <laughs> and we'll put it here, and we'll come to here. Ah, in the level, you see? This is physics. Monetti, come, Ivan, come, bravo, bravo. Monetti, I would like to show you that uh, I, I've been sitting with them in the, in the co-working, mentoring them, and they showed a really, really big dramatic change in only one month. In only one month, they, co they, they produced the box we filled it inside with NFC cards that are working with an app that are working even though they got fucked with the first Indian uh, developer. So, and they still did it. So it's, this is why they are here. And we all think the same. Okay, so now this is it. Ashkenazi, the stage is yours. Now we will cross-question them in order to pick our winner. Okay. Let's start with Elitza. Who is having questions for her? 
Uh, I can. Okay. No. Not, ah. Okay. Who will start? Okay. Check. Check. No. Check. Check. All right. Um, I, I believe the best question that is for all of you, uh, once you start the presentations, uh, would be how you developed from the time you pitched the first time in the pitch to pitch, and uh, what was your development since? Thank you for the question. Actually, when we pitched here about 12 months ago, ago we pitched Smart City Solution. Uh, we were, um, at that time, we already have developed the first uh, smart city chatbot in Bulgaria for Plovdiv City as a uh, European capital of culture mm -hmm. last year for tourists. And we truly believed that this is uh, our path. Um, all, but uh, working with the cities, we find out that they're very... <laughs> that they're very hard customers. And... Um, we had to serve, meanwhile, our customers because we have paying customers. Uh, currently, we have uh, 19 customers, starting from Diners Club and uh, the Poland company, Queen's Juice, uh, uh, the Russian tour operator, Test Tour, and other customers. And while we were serving our customers, we discovered that uh, they have needs and we have needs, and we actually pivot. So nine months ago, uh, we pivoted, and uh, we had at that time, um, as I said in my one-minute pitch, we had at that time only a dashboard with live statistics, and the need, our need, and our customers need to be able to maintain and create a chatbot for the customers faster, to give them access so they can do it for themselves with zero coding skills, any other preparation in advance, fast and easy at any time, because customers want to do promotions, they want to change data in the chatbots. We gave that to them, and that's what happened in the past nine months. And also because we, we do AI bots, we find out that one major challenge for adoption of AI chatbots is that the newly created AI chatbots um, look data, and therefore they are not, um, not that accurate at the beginning. That's how we came to our industry, central, uh, industry focused centralized conversational AI model creation that helps the chatbots from the same industry become faster, smarter. Because, uh, and we already, okay, sorry. And we already have a proof of the concept with eight work paying hotels. Thank you. Yes, so the question was uh, how much we've developed since the last time we pitched. We pitched just a month ago, uh, although a lot of things has happened. Okay. So I like structure, so four things. First thing, we started production. So we started manufacturing all the tooling and the modes that have been submitted to our supplier. And we've submitted the design files with all of the optimizations because this is not the final, final product. This is like 93% completed. So we started manufacturing. It's a huge milestone for us uh, going into industrial production. Second thing, as I said, we were exploring the crowdfunding opportunities in Asia because it turns out that there is a huge interest about the Japanese market. So I was looking for contacts uh, for a partner that we can work there and we got introduced by one of the it's like the Kickstarter of Japan. It's called Makuake, the platform. And they introduced us to, um, to a company that we can work with them to develop. To basically, they will take over uh, the, of adapting the crowdfunding. We got like very valuable insights about the, the local uh, culture there and uh, how this uh, campaign should be developed. So this is something that we are now working on and we are planning to launch by the end of the year the final samples approved. Uh, the third thing is that, uh, as I said, we were working also on, on the go-to-market plan. So we got introduced to one uh, company that is like a 360 business for retail and distribution for consumer products. They're based in four different places around the world, and they'll help us 
with with developing this go to market plan and they can we are really looking for the long term partner with them about the retail and distribution and really what are the low hanging fruits that we can start uh, marketing and distributing this uh, consumer product and the bottle and everything uh, in addition to it and the fourth thing is that i was uh, looking at the financials the business models and uh, really making more realistic bets ab about the forecast and what we can do in the next three years to evaluate our financial needs and what seed round we are uh, looking to raise thank you please show us Fantastic, thank you. So at Meteor Rocks, the main thing that happened over the last six months is the EET Climate Kick Accelerator. This is quite a demanding program, but it gave us a lot of uh, opportunities to develop. So the first thing that happened is we've established uh, very crucial contacts with uh, public institutions. As I told you, we have a contract for cooperation with the Bulgarian Academy of Science. Uh, and uh, another very vital contact is the Bulgarian Naval Academy. Through them, we are getting access to sites where it's not very easy to install weather equipment otherwise. Uh, the second thing that happened thanks to the EET Climate Kick Accelerator is that we've improved a lot our production process and we are able to meet the demand of the uh, market that, is, uh, that we've uh, found ourselves in. Uh, because once uh, scientific institutions found about us, there is a constant uh, income of, uh, of requests for weather equipment that we can manufacture for them. And the third thing uh, that is quite a good sign for us is that we have an order for 20 weather stations for next summer under the EU LIFE program, again with uh, the uh, Geophysics Institute of the Sofia University. So these are the three main things that happened over the last six months and I found most crucial. Okay. So uh, the first time I pitched this idea was in January, a pitch to pitch the event. In February, I met uh, Nikwai, my co-founder, and actually we made two meetings in the beginning of March, just before the lockdown, and we decided to work together on this project. Uh, so during this uh, uh, tough time, actually we did a lot. We uh, participated in online event from in Austria and we received a lot of feedback. So in the beginning, the idea was just about a mobile app, but after this online event with a lot of mentors from Austria, we just decided that it will be educational uh, platform, not only digital tools, but also there should be some physical tools because parents, they don't just want, you know, to give uh, another mobile app to, to their kids, but they also want to have, you know, uh, talk to them about money, do it by practice, you know, kids should uh, learn by practice and should have something in their hands. So uh, we developed a product for a very young child from three to seven. We have created a product for next level, you know, from seven to 14. Um, we are working on a mobile app. We also started uh, talks with the uh, Bulgarian bank because they're interested to enter this market. And they actually don't know how, you know, they, they know that there is uh, potential and they see other competitors. They already provide um, debit cards uh, to kids, but probably they need something more, you know, to differentiate. So I believe we can help them to differ differentiate. Can you please open the box? <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> we have. Yeah, yeah we, we have uh, uh, seven, uh, 70 uh, cards with financial terms. And on one of the cards, we will have uh, NFC chip that will interact with the mobile app. <laughs> But Nikolai, maybe he can show you uh, actually the interaction if he's ready. <laughs> Net. 
maybe it, it, it's on other uh, box. <laughs> You can show, uh, you can bring the other box too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to ask you guys, uh, same question split into two. Uh, why do you need this money and what will you do th with this money? Maybe start with you. Yes, uh, actually we will, with the money, we want to launch several products. We also want to make the prototype of our mobile app and uh, sell it to banks. So, in, and we, uh, that is uh, the most important is to create also a community, a lot of customer base and traction and uh, brand. Actually, we, we want to uh, make our brand visible everywhere. So we need uh, funds so that we can certify our weather stations first. Uh, program period is opening under the EU laws and we want to meet all necessary requirements uh, so that we can participate in the public procurements uh, because together with our scientific partners there are a lot of opportunities opening up. Another thing we need to improve is our production facility. We need a bigger space where we can grow and develop. Um, also, we want to invest in our um, services for corporate clients. Currently, our main customers are uh, outdoor. Uh, our main users are outdoor enthusiasts who need data to practice their hobbies. But our main focus uh, is to offer uh, weather data and um, forecasting services to uh, AI and big data companies to agricultural and uh, companies to the energy sector and uh, various customers who have uh, weather dependent businesses and know how valuable good weather insight is. And uh, in the longer run, we want to um, make our own weather model, which we can. Uh, adjust and pro in which we can provide very precise and accurate forecast in the area. And another very important thing is we want to have uh, 60, uh, 60 weather stations by the end of 2021 uh, and we will have 50% coverage of the country and thus we will be able to reach uh, a very wide audience of uh, customers around Bulgaria. Um. Yeah, we need money to, to set up a team because we are a team of two, me and Peter. Uh, we are, we've been doing this for the last two years and something, so we need now a really a marketing gurus and business developers, uh, just two, three people to join us to really, because this will be the product that will be like a cash cow product for, for the next year and something. Uh, so, yeah, to build a team. Secondly, to invest in inventory because, you know, dealing with, uh, with a physical product and distribution and sales and payment periods, uh, you need to invest in uh, units that you have to produce in advance. Uh, and uh, thirdly, for R&D, we would like to experiment uh, with different materials and looking to look how to make this products more economically feasible for packaging applications, I mean reusable packaging applications, so we can use the same tooling cost, but uh, yeah, do R&D work uh, with our supplier and find, because our goal is by the end of next year to secure a trial with a leader, uh, leading retailer or CPG brand that we can uh, introduce uh, such space-saving reusable products that work on the Milkman model from the past, so these are models that are already in a testing mode uh, in other countries. So these three things, yeah. In the next 12 months, we have two goals. And for that, we need funding. Uh, number one is further speeding up and developing completely our chatbot management platform, especially the centralized AI model. For that, we need also um, talents in our team. And the second really important part of uh, our goals for the next 12 months is opening our platform to as many customers as possible, as fast as possible, so we can collect data to be able to create our, uh, to fill our uh, cent industry uh, centralized uh, AI model for other industries and run AI product, uh, AI product. so AI as service. That's it. 
Okay. Can I ask a quick one? Uh, first, thank you to the organizers and uh, every one of the participants. I think the presentations were excellent. Uh, I'm not sure about the one minute uh, restriction. <laughs> I think it was just too short for some of them, but um, I, I just wanted to ask a couple of questions. And uh, the first one is, um, who of you has uh, money paying customers? Can you just raise your hand? And the second one is, uh, how many people, just use your fingers, how many people do you have on the team? <laughs> wow, a big team over there. Yeah. OK, <laughs> thanks. No customers. Big team, but no customers. <laughs> big teams, but no customers. Somebody's saying that. Oh. OK. Any other questions? Who is your biggest competitor in the next year or in the in the future? Okay. The biggest competitor. As uh, currently we are in Bulgarian market. Um, if we talk about uh, competitors, uh, these are other IT companies that just do custom chatbots. They were our competitors, uh, but what we are working along here on the market in the direction we are developing. Um, globally, uh, there are AI chatbot platforms that are focusing developing exactly AI, but they are also focusing on custom chatbots making for enterprises. Um, so they would be our biggest competitor in a global level. Um, in the top 30 companies, 13 are are in the United States and 13 are mostly in India, Asia. There are only four companies in uh, Europe that are dealing with uh, conversational AI, chatbot section, but they all are focusing on enterprises and custom made uh, chatbots for developers that make chatbots for enterprises. Um, yeah, our main competitor, speaking about the reusable bottle market, it's uh, over a 8 billion uh, worth market, so it's highly fragmented industry. So if you think there are all kind of brands uh, focused on sports, on outdoor, on lifestyle, fashion, etc. So uh, there are a lot of bottles <laughs> out there. Uh, they're collapsible and not collapsible, conventional and innovative products. So uh, on the conventional bottles, I would point to maybe brands that are not only uh, providing quality products, but also having a deeper mission with their business and they're really using their business as a source of, for doing good. So the first one is Clean Canteen, they're an American-based uh, company. And the second one is based in the Netherlands, it's called Dopper. And both of them are really uh, socially engaged and uh, promoting, uh, yeah, fighting with single-use plastics, uh, supporting NGOs, uh, and um, yeah, uh, having quality products. On the space-saving collapsible drinkware, um, it's it's difficult to point out because for me, I've tested a lot of products and really I haven't had a successful, like, satisfying customer experience. Uh, but let's say Cubotto and Stojo, uh, they're also, but they're folding just at 50%. If you're looking for the completely foldable, like flexible uh, bottles that are more mainly used by trail runners and things, Hydropack, Vaporer bottles like this, but uh, they don't have the stability. So we are combining the good uh, from the both worlds. So having the compactness and the stability. So it's behaving like a normal bottle, but having the convenience that it's super space saving. So our company has two main products. The first obvious product is the weather station and we have many competitors um, for this product. There are some Bulgarian companies, there are international companies. What our unique value proposition is uh, the competitive the competitive price and the fact that we are local manufacturers, uh, we can offer a competitive price due to in-house design and uh, very short supply chain. Uh, what the, the interesting pro product we want to focus on is weather counseling services. There is no big uh, company on the local market and the main reason is that you need data. You need local data from uh, observations in order to provide a high quality service. And 
who are creating a network of automated weather stations which provide this data in, weather st uh, in real time and allow us to offer these services in the future. Um, actually, we have um, you know, reviewed the market potential and uh, in Bulgaria and German market where we want to start next. Uh, actually, there is almost no competition. It comes from regular banks or fintechs, but fintechs, they offer their own branded product. They don't uh, want to work with banks and we will differ differentiate partnering with the banks uh, to offer uh, mobile app and educational tools. So, uh, as names, uh, there are apps like uh, Revolut Junior or Go Henry, but as I said, this, they only work on their brand, but they don't partner with uh, banks. Hi, I have a question. It's a double question. So, have you already evaluated the, the market you can serve? Uh, how big is the market if you did? How big is the market? You can serve. Some of you is uh, aiming at the local market. Some of you is potentially scalable on global level, in in dollars or euros. And uh, what is the percentage you think you can serve in the next 12 months? Okay. So, um, we if we uh, target Europe, it's about 50 million kids, <laughs> and um, the potential actually is. Uh, for uh, between five and six uh, billion. Comp I take these numbers from our competitors because they, they made a better, you know, uh, review of the, of the potential. So, um, in terms, this is in terms of customers, but uh, because we're working with banks, actually, um, banks, uh, most banks need such product to offer to their customers, to parents. So, uh, at the moment, it's actually hard to evaluate the exact product. Yeah. So we have not done an evaluation, but we know that the market for weather stations is very limited. Uh, one needs around 150 stations to cover the whole of Bulgaria. The real valuable market is the weather counseling uh, market because there are every, almost every business depends uh, in one way or, or another for, on weather data and uh, yeah. Yeah, difficult question with numbers when you don't have the paid reports. So <laughs> I just have the high level data. As I said, uh, the reusable bottle market is $8 billion uh, worth. 25% of this is based in Europe because we'll be focusing first in, um, in Western Europe and um, yeah, as a uh, geographical areas. Also, we'll see how it goes in Japan. It's also a huge market there, but yeah, 0.001% probably we can get market share for 12 months. I don't know, like a lot of zeros. Yeah. I mean, you should be realistic. Things happen slowly. Thank you for the question. Um, so there are two markets here that we are crossing. One is the conversational AI market, which is $5 billion this year and will expect it to grow by 2025 to $14 billion. And actually, Europe is expected to be the second large uh, market size in the next five years. The second market is the chatbot market in general, uh, which is uh, which is in, 19, in 2019 was $17 billion and is expected to grow in the next five years to $102 billion. And uh, because our pilot product project right now is in hotels, I'm ex-hotelier, so it was I'm ex general manager of a hotel, so that was easy to start with good hotels. Uh, in Bulgaria, officially, there are over 30,000 hotels. And in Europe, there are over 200,000 hotels. And only in Bulgaria, only 4% belong to chains. In Europe, only 13% belong to chains, which means these are businesses that have immediate need of uh, assistance. Especially COVID helps a lot in this direction. Uh, just to say, because how much we are focused right now on uh, our uh, tech, and uh, but technically we can create ten chat hotel chatbots a day, right now, technically. Last question. Okay. And so one sentence as answer. One quick one. Um, what is your 
go-to-market strategy. Some of you touched it. You can elaborate on that now. And what is your domain expertise? Why you? I want to ask our participant to answer in one sentence. This is impossible. In one. Okay. Half, one and a half, okay? Can you repeat? <laughs> well, well. So for go to market, I said we would like to address as many customers locally as possible to collect data. Why uh, me personally? In 2003, after another 16 hours workday as a hotel employee, I was crying at the parking lot, exhausted. And I was asking myself, is that all? Entire day, the same questions and just different faces. And this is my personal mission to stop wasting human time where it's not necessary. Um, go to market plan. Uh, we are working now on this. Uh, we are focused on uh, Western Europe, UK, Germany, uh, and the Scandinavian, the Nordic countries, uh, Japan, and uh, maybe Northern America, as we will be uh, developing our e-commerce uh, uh, shopping uh, platforms. So we will be initially focused more as a direct-to-consumer brand, uh, and also we will be looking like for more uh, niche, uh, smaller uh, retailers and distributors. Amazon, we see going there maybe um, by the end of next year, like not directly jumping in. Uh, so yeah, this is for the go-to-market plan. Why us? Well, we've been doing this for the last two years and a half with limited resources, like fully committed and believing when nobody's believing. And it's happening. <laughs> so uh, we've secured... Um orders for weather stations for the next 12 months because working with the scientific institutions the demand is very big uh, our go-to market plan for weather our weather counseling services which are the more valuable ones is uh, we'll start work with uh, pilot customers in various areas in in the EET climate kick accelerator we've already met uh, companies that might be interested why us we are a very a team of uh, very specific experts. We have a meteorologist, an engineer, a designer, and they're working very well. I think this is the strongest quality we have. Okay, uh, I studied finance, uh, finance, uh, and then worked. Uh, I'm working still in the financial industry for 20 years, but still, uh, I made a lot of uh, bad mistakes with money. Now I'm a parent, I'm 43, and I don't want my kids to make the same mistakes, so I want to teach them I have the pain. <laughs> and uh, I believe that most parents will need such product, you know, like we want to do. Thank you. I can't refuse to Vladimir Tonu move to ask his question also. It's the last one, I promise. If you can answer uh, very shortly. Uh, how much money you need uh, for the next 12 months, and what are your expectations for the sales in one year? One sentence. One sentence. How much money? Ideally, yeah. Ideally, our immediate financial uh, fundraising goal is 150,000 euro for one year, with second round in 20 months, 80 to 24 months again. Um, we are looking into doubling, at least doubling our current uh, revenue. Uh, you have leva, uh, hundred fifty thousand leva at least. Yeah, ideally we are looking for two hundred thousand uh, dollars. We can do with the half of it. We are expecting uh, like six hundred thousand in revenue for the next year. Like my estimation before that was for a million and something in the previous pitch presentation I gave, but now we are lowering a little bit the target. So we are looking for 115,000 euro and we're expecting around 60,000 euro revenue next year. We want to start with uh, 50,000 um, uh, euro investment. But uh, by end of the first year, we will need another 20, uh, uh, not 20, 200k euro. 
uh, we will make uh, sales uh, we plan to make sales from physical products and from educational trainings and uh, we expect about 50,000 euro sales in one year from physical products and trainings we'll be back in 10 minutes with the big solution of our joy members thank you take a beer grab a beer Get right to the point. I don't pop my car for every man I see. Hey, big spender. Spend a little time with me. Love me two times, girl. Love me twice today. Love me two times, baby. Love me two times, baby. One for tomorrow, one just for today. Hey, big spender. Hey, big spender. I'm gone away. Oh, wouldn't you like to have fun? Oh, fun, good fun. How about it?
your mind You better stop the things you do You know I am not No Okay, we are ready. Our jury is ready for the the right time for the best startup, and I'm very happy that uh, next to me on the stage is uh, Angel, who will share, who will be the winner of the mall. Yeah, first of all, uh, thank you for the organizers. Uh, they are setting up this uh, amazing event and amazing set of events over the past year. Uh, we're big supporters as well and happy to be uh, jury members and also um, contributors for the ecosystem uh, and happy to continue this relationship in the future. Um, the second thing that I would like to say is um, thank you to the presenters and the ones that presented in the past events. Great job. Uh, being able to speak out even for a minute is very difficult and uh, very courageous. So kudos to you. Um, now about the awards, I'd like to uh, you to understand that it is a very um, structured awards in a, in, a, in a way that we would like to pick the, the winner so that it fits our criteria best. Um, also, you would like to. I would like to uh, you to know that um, not only the people that uh, get selected, other uh, teams may be future uh, or future potential companies that we would like to to work with. Um, so we are not saying no to basically anyone in uh, in this group, even not only from the finalists but also from the previous presenters as well. So the award itself, it's a 50,000 euro, which is split in two. Um, the initial amount is 25,000 euro, which is a uh, convertible note. Um, the terms will be a term sheet, which uh, needs to be approved by both parties. And in order to, for us to, um, to complete the investment, need to have um, a, a confirmatory due diligence process. Which, um, which will require additional in, um, investigation on our side. So it's going to be subject to terms. Uh, that's something that uh, is very, very important to, to note. Uh, it's not a grant money or anything. It's, it's going to be quasi-equity investment convertible note with valuation cap and a discount. And uh, the, tw the second 25,000 will, will be again a, a convertible note, which will... Um, happen only if certain milestones are met and the milestones will also be uh, available and will be discussed with uh, with the teams during the due diligence process and before signing the uh, the term sheet and the investment agreement so uh, anything else maybe i don't know just uh, let's uh, once again thank you for for your presentations you are doing a great job uh we're um crossing our fingers that your businesses 
um, are successful because we need it. Everyone need it, needs it in our community. And now the big winners with uh, 50,000 euro are Meteor Rocks. I want to ask all of the participants come here to us, with us, to share this moment in one picture. Please join us the and the judges and everybody. Come on, let's let's. Who is the second runner? Come on, we having a prize for chatbot solution. Ah! Uh -huh. 